Welcome to Brain Booster. Did you know that the Golden Gate Bridge was originally deemed impossible to construct? Back in the Roaring Twenties, Michael O'Shaughnessy, the city's engineer, was tasked with finding someone capable of building a bridge across the Golden Gate Strait, a feat many thought was beyond reach. Enter Joseph Strauss, an ambitious engineer who submitted plans for a unique cantilever suspension hybrid bridge. However, this initial design was met with a less than enthusiastic response, the public rejected it, and the press even branded it as ugly. The road to construction wasn't smooth either. The lands on either side of the strait were owned by the War Department, which meant they had to authorize the project. Navigating through a sea of bureaucracy, the final permit for construction wasn't issued until a decade later, in 1930. And even then, the bridge faced over 2,300 lawsuits, with opposition coming from all corners. Despite countless obstacles and over 2,300 lawsuits, the bridge's construction was finally given the green light. From a rejected design to a world-renowned icon, the construction of the Golden Gate Bridge was nothing short of extraordinary. The original vision for the bridge was a hybrid of cantilever and suspension designs. However, the public and press deemed it unattractive. So, a conventional suspension bridge design was chosen instead. The men behind this change were George Swain and Leon Moisef, designers of New York's Manhattan Bridge. Under the guidance of Joseph Strauss, Moisef proposed a design that could sway more than two feet laterally to resist strong wind currents. The turn of the decade in the 30s marked the issuance of the final permit for construction. It was a long-awaited green light, finally allowing the team to break ground on this ambitious project. Hence, on the fifth day of January in 1933, the first shovel hit the ground. The site was prepared with the excavation of an area equivalent to 3.25 million cubic feet. This was to house the bridge's 12-story high anchorages. Now the construction of a suspension bridge requires a lot of cables. But here's the kicker. Instead of having the cables manufactured elsewhere and shipped in, they were spun on site. The cables were strung horizontally between two massive concrete blocks, known as anchorages. From these, vertical cables or suspender ropes, connected the main cable to the bridge's deck. The company that made cables for the Brooklyn Bridge was tasked with this massive undertaking right there on the construction site. And let's not forget about the bridge's iconic color. It's not red, it's not orange, but international orange. Irving Morrow, the consulting architect, was inspired by the red primer of the steel beams found in the factories. He believed this color complemented the natural surroundings while helping the bridge stand out against the sea and sky. It also ensured high visibility during foggy conditions. With resilience and innovation, the construction team overcame every challenge, inching closer to the completion of this engineering marvel. After four years of construction, the Golden Gate Bridge, bathed in the distinctive hue of international orange, finally stood tall. The color, chosen by consulting architect Irving Morrow, was not just selected for its aesthetic appeal. Morrow believed international orange was a color that complemented the natural surroundings, stood out against the sea and sky, and was highly visible in fog. The year was 1937, and the Golden Gate Bridge, once a dream, was now a reality. The momentous completion of the bridge was celebrated with a Golden Gate Bridge opening fiesta week. The city was alive with joy, and the air filled with a sense of accomplishment. Joseph Strauss, the man who had persevered against all odds to see this project through, marked the occasion with a tribute poem, A Mighty Task Is Done. On May 27, 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge, once deemed an impossible task, became a reality. Today, the Golden Gate Bridge stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. This iconic structure, once the longest and tallest suspension bridge in the world, continues to marvel visitors from all corners of the globe. With its sweeping span of 1.7 miles and a width of 90 feet, it remains an engineering marvel, even though it has since been surpassed in size by other bridges. The Golden Gate Bridge is more than just a passage connecting Marin County to San Francisco. It is a symbol of the city, a beacon, of the audacious spirit of human achievement. And it has a unique feature too, a foghorn. This essential device is activated during periods of thick fog, guiding vessels safely through the waters under the bridge's towering structure. The Golden Gate Bridge, an icon of San Francisco, continues to inspire and captivate millions around the world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.